Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan and this is Makeup by Morgan and today I have another Fuck Trump video for you. So the brand that these lipsticks are from, Lip Slut, has um, released a whole line of Fuck Trump lipsticks. Um, so there's this one which is Tax Returns and then I've also ordered the rest which are Locker Room Talk, Kofifi, and Fake News. So I'm not sure if I'll do a video um, when all of them get here or if I'll wait for special events like the day that Trump realizes that all of his lawsuits aren't going to do shit for him, inauguration day, and the day that he goes to jail. So quickly on the back of my hand, I'm just going to swatch both of the ones that I have here for you. So this one is the original Fuck Trump and then this one is Tax Returns. Okay, so here are the swatches. As you can tell, they're pretty similar. Um, this one here is the original Fuck Trump, and then this one is Tax Returns. So as you can tell, this one is a little bit deeper, and it has kind of a more like purpley, um, like berry vibe to it. And then this one is a little bit um, lighter. So yeah, those are the two lipsticks that I have right now. Um, also, I just want to say, so this weekend was for celebration because yes, Biden did win the election. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> but we still have so much work to do because people like Susan Collins, Mitch McConnell, and Lindsey Graham still are holding their seats in the Senate. And so in order to get Senate control, everyone in Georgia, if you are from Georgia, you need to make sure you are voting blue in the runoffs. It is so important. Because now that Trump will not be president, yes, we do not have an actively racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic president anymore, after Inauguration Day, that is. Um, but we still have to remove the huge cultural stain on our country and in order to get anything done we need a democratic senate because as i stated in my last video the senate votes based on party lines so they're going to be trying to block everything that joe biden tries to do so we're no longer going backwards but we need to be going forward okay so getting started on the makeup I'm using my Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade Fair. To set that, I will be using my Maybelline Superstay Powder in the shade Fair Porcelain, and I'm using a big fluffy brush all over my face and a smaller brush just to go over the places that I put my concealer. On a big fluffy Sony Kashuk brush, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. To contour, I'll be taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. First, I'm using a larger angled brush for my face and then I will take a smaller eyeshadow angled brush for my nose. For blush, I'll be taking this Makeup Forever um, Artist Face Powder. I can't find a shade name. It says S214, so I don't know, maybe they just number them. Um, it was just like a free gift from Sephora. So I'm going to be taking that on my Nightmare Before Christmas brush. Okay, 
For highlight, I am going into the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, and I'm using the shade Pink Heart. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rosa Romantica to blend my blush and highlight. For eyebrows, I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, to start on the eyes, I'm going into the Anastasia Sultry Palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Birch, and I'm using uh, this Anastasia brush for that. Okay, now flipping the brush over to the smaller side, I'm going into the Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Mugshot, because hopefully Trump will be getting his Mugshot taken soon, and I'm going to put that deeper in my crease. Okay, and now for the outer V, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the shade Dystopian, and then I'm also going to be mixing that with the shade Dark Side, because I just kind of liked how there's a tiny bit of shimmer from Mugshot in my crease. Okay, now for my lid, I'm going into the Soft Glam Palette and I'm taking the shade Sultry and I'm putting that on the outer portion of my lid. And then back into the Sultry palette, I'm taking the shade Rose Quartz. For my lower lash line, I'm going back into the shade Mugshot. So I took that on this Makeup Revolution brush and then flipping it over to the little flat side, I'm going to be taking the shade dust and putting that on my inner corner. And then for my brow bone, I am taking the shade Tempera from the Soft Glam palette. For eyeliner, I am starting with the Wet n Wild Coal Pencil in the shade Baby's Got Black for my tight line. and the shade Calling Your Buff for my waterline. Okay, and now it is time for the lipstick, so I'm going to be using the Fuck Trump Tax Returns lipstick. Okay, so that is the lipstick. It is really pretty. I like it. Um, I think the camera might be like making it look a little brighter. I can't tell, but it's definitely like pretty like casual and neutral, but then it definitely like still has some pink to it. Um, so here is the completed look from a little bit of a distance.
and the completed look zooms in. Okay, so that is it for this video. Remember that it is okay to be celebrating right now. It is amazing that Biden won and that we will have our first female vice president. Not only is she the first female, she's the first uh, black woman, the first um, Indian woman, and the first daughter of immigrants. So, I mean, I'm so excited. Um, but we still do have a ton of work to do, and if you are in Georgia, you need to be voting so that we can turn the Senate blue. As usual, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you! We won! 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 We